All right, ready? Okay, so ready for this kicking Okay, face you, well, <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm, like, sitting here with anticipation. So I was at Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... And I, I went up to the counter. This was this was in the before times when you could like sit in a restaurant and like just hang out there with freely and people would interact and shit. I know it's a little hard to remember, but that was a thing. Yeah. And uh, so I, um, got my order and it was like a I was just having lunch there, and I went back to my table, sat down, ate my food, and like I was in a booth. There was a table with no one in between us, and then uh, like a family. And they had a kid in like a little carrying case. Uh, what's it called? Like a. Uh, the one that comes from the car, or. Yeah, it's okay. a, it's like the one that fit that sits in yeah. the car, but you can just take it out. It's okay. like your your kid in a shopping basket. Kind of like a bassinet, but not. Yes, really. kind of. It's yeah. it's like the industrial bassinet. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, the kids. I don't in, know anything about children. The I'm kids sorry. in one of those, and uh, so I finished my food. Portable car seat. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I am on my phone. <laughs> I'm on my phone and I go throw my food away because the, gar- the garbage can's like right beside the booth where I'm at and I go to walk towards the entrance which is past this family I'm on my phone and the kid is like a little bit out into the aisle oh no <laughs> and I like now in all fairness I didn't kick the child but I did kick the whole fucking thing <laughs> to the point that like it didn't go far but like a curling rock it did move a little bit <laughs> And the kid, to its credit, didn't give a f- shit. It was just like, no, whatever. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so fucking sorry. And the parents were like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But like, I I full on booted a child. Just because, because like, I I walk, like, you see me walk. I walk fast. I have long strides. And like, I, I, like, I had some momentum. I was like juggernaut <laughs> coming towards that kid, you know? And the parents were like... I mean, they said it was fine. I don't know if, like, they're like, let's just resolve the situation. Well, if the kid doesn't immediately, like, go into panic mode. I guess. Right? I still kicked a child. I still absolutely (laughs) kicked a child. Honestly, it was probably like, wee. (laughs) I guess, yeah. I don't know. It just... It's it's not the... I know, like, maybe it's not the story you guys were hoping for, but I still, like, I fucking curling rocked a kid across (laughs) Dairy Queen. How many children have you kicked? So far, not many. <laughs> are you are you legally required to answer that way? <laughs> is there, has there been uh, <laughs> any court cases you can't talk about? I just <laughs> logistically try not to be around children. I, Jamie Truscott Brown, can confirm <laughs> that I have never kicked children. Yeah, no, I haven't kicked any. Yeah, in any of the recognized states and provinces. That's that I know of. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just doing a new statue. Um, what pose should we do? Uh, if you kick someone in the nuts, are you still kicking children? You're kicking trillions of them. <laughs> yeah, right. So I guess I have kicked some kids. Okay, well, that's yeah. impressive. I, um, I mean, not really, but... <laughs> trying to see what's a good... See, we did the airport last time. That was not a good pose. I thought it was no, going to be like... No, that was bad. So I guess it's whatever one... Scary. Okay. No, there was one like was one sc- uh, was scary. It? Oh, scary I, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, the entire webcam is in my way. <laughs> there we go. That, that will build us some renown. Bloodlust roar or growl? Um, bloodlust. Okay. We look like a person that could be like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I bet the statue would be nice if we smiled more though. <laughs> <laughs> Those food weren't so is, fat. I wish I had a statue of me doing this. Same here's, thing. here's the thing, Jamie. I don't know if she has enough stone there because we're so fucking fat. <laughs> You're gonna need to get another column <laughs> for the ascent. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, there's one statue. We ha- there's one more statue we can do, so we might as well do that, and then that'll give us some more renown. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> see the statue all right so that was the one that was in west cliff and i think we have another plinth in uh oakfield oh yeah. boy oh no no we already did oak oh whatever fuck it uh let's do growl okay oh what wait 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 wait. 
What's under fun? I want to know. Uh, fun is dance, fart, and victory pump. <laughs> For some reason, I read fart and our pump at the same time. And I was thinking of like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that's a cool statue. All right, let's do gravel. Yes, gravel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're a little kitty We're a little kitty cat. Uh, oh, we're like our... we're like Scribble Shanks, <laughs> or Bust for Jones, or Rum Tum Tugger. I hate that you said that because now that song's in my head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cat on the railway train. Oh man, <laughs> that movie was. Uh, we I know we've talked about the podcast, but have you and I discussed? I don't think so. My. You nearly panic attack. I guess I don't know what that is. I yeah, know it, it was too much. That movie um, was just too much. I passed out watching Cats at the movie theater. <laughs> um, we... You did. You, you like, literally looked weird, and you were, like, sweating. Yeah. And... Do you think that was COVID? Or pancakes? <laughs> no, 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 but that was December of 2019. I don't know. No, because you didn't get sicker after that. You just got sick Not that I remember, movie. but, like, what, what if? Yeah, you were what? fine after it. You came back, and you sat down, and you were fine. Oh, yeah, I was, I was, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Chris brought you water. Oh, fucking... What a dipshit. So, anyway, so what what happened? What we're talking about is um, we went to see Cats. Yeah, uh, myself, uh, Jamie, and, and Christopher. Movie. Uh, we, yeah, the movie, I should say, specifically. We yeah. didn't go down to New York. The musical and, is actually better. But. I imagine a lot of things are better than that movie. <laughs> um, and so we... We splash. We, uh, I guess we'll just do... Here's the thing. Do we want to fuck up a guy's farm or protect the farm from the bandits? Let's just protect the farm. Okay. I don't want to fuck up a farm. Um, Farming's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I get it. Like <laughs> it's hard. Sorry, I just gotta find out I've where the fuck that was. I've for people that farm because I have a small you're... garden, and even like a tiny garden is so much work. Yeah, and it's fucking hard. So, so, so we watch cats. Yeah. Oh boy, did we? Ever. And uh, we. We were pretty sober seeing it. I think we had like a drink before we left, just for clarification, so it doesn't sound like we got like all fucked up. Like, no, there's a there's a little bar over there, um, and we had a drink before we went in. Yeah, yeah. So, but like, uh, like literally like, a drink, and then. Um, I don't think anyone should see this sober, honestly. Exactly. Yeah. No. And so we get to I get to about the point where Gus the theatrical cat shows up, <laughs> and I start profusely sweating. Like, I'm overheating. Like, I am Do you remember warm. the Mistopheles? Yeah. Okay. Magical Mr. Mistopheles, yeah. Um, you pitched me an idea for making that coat from that. And I don't know if you remember. I do not that remember that. Um, wow. You did. And I was like, I know exactly how we could make it and how I would do it. But I never confronted you further on it because I don't think you actually wanted it. You don't think it was a sane thought of my <laughs> yeah. of my brain? So you were already, like, you were already off the tracks. Yeah. And that, like, that alone, like, kind of gave me some warning signs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the fact that you brought that up. And then, like, just a little bit after that, though, is the part that you're... Oh, yeah. So so then I, I um... I'm wearing, like, a sh- like I think a button-up shirt and then... You had a coat over it, though. But it was, like, a light coat. Like, it wasn't... Yeah. And then... So, I'm, I'm getting a little hot. I'm like, okay, well, I'm in a theater. It's December. I'm assuming they've they've cranked the the heat. So, I took my jacket off, right? It actually wasn't that hot in there. <laughs> Not to my perspective. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. like So, I, I take my jacket off because I'm like, okay, obviously, I'm just overdressed or whatever, right? Yeah. In my brain. And, um, and then, like, it just keeps getting worse. And, like, my temperature is getting higher and higher and higher um and like i'm not okay and like i'm, I'm drinking my drink i'm like you know trying to because we have like we bought like um like the big slurpy things yeah like, like what, those things that you get like the whatever that you know how you get the big cup with the like slurpy or yeah yeah whatever it is I got I got from the concession there, like the drink, because I'm like, can maybe I'm dehydrated, maybe I'm, which I mean, yeah. that wouldn't have helped, but like, like you just get the popcorn and the drink combo. Ex- exactly, yeah. yeah. So I'm 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 drinking that, and uh, eventually I'm like. But I was already kind of watching you because you made that like suggestion, and then you started taking your coat off, and you literally 
like we're going into like a cold sweat. Yeah, like I was. Like, I'm not. I'm like not saying like I'm like brain. I'm like oh well hot. Like I'm dripping. Yeah. With sweat, and I was like, oh, I think I need some air. Like I I need to go and and so I, I go in and for a while like sit outside the specific theater we're at, and um there's like a bench out there, so I just kind of sit there for a second, and then I go you know what? I think I need to throw up. I think I need to, like, it's not, it's not a nine one one right now, but I think like in the next two to six minutes, vomit will come out of my throat. So I should probably well, go somewhere where it's appropriate for that to happen. On my end at first, I thought you were answering your phone or like something was happening on your phone that you needed to do. Right. But then after a little while, I said, like I said to Chris, um, I think you should go check. So while, while you had yeah. had that, that conversation, I had journeyed to the bathroom, where I made it approximately four feet into the bathroom, and then I started to black out. And I passed out on the floor of the bathroom. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, not in a stall, not, like, in the middle. And I, I don't think I was passed out that long, because either no one came to the bathroom, or someone came through and was like, don't want to deal with this, and <laughs> left. Like, <laughs> you know, like, Step it was... Step over it. Yeah. It was a 50-50 was venture there. So... I come to and I like crawl my ass to the 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 bathroom, the toilet, like the stall, because I'm not gonna throw up in a urinal. I'm a classy broad. Um, <laughs> no and, one's there to hold your hair. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so I I close it and then I don't think I throw up. I think I just like like kneel there and just kind of like process the 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 centrical motion of the earth essentially. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, and then Chris comes. Uh. To be like, like, hey man, you because know, obviously he he followed me outside. I'm assuming, and and then couldn't find me, so he assumed I didn't just leave you guys. And I, uh, cause I think we drove in your guys's car. Yeah, we all came together. But I think it was in your guys's car, yeah. so like I couldn't have just fucked off and yeah, and left. No, but like you were gone a while, and I was like, hey, do you want to go see if everything's okay? Because like yeah. you didn't really seem okay, so I was like, I don't know if that was like a phone call scenario or something's bad. Yeah. So. I mean, much appreciated. I uh, So, anyway, so Chris comes in and, like, I'm the only one in the bathroom and he kind of, like, d- you know, deduces I'm in the stall. And he's like, hey, man, like, you, you okay? And I was like, yeah, man, like, I'm just... And at this point, I'm, like, actively dripping sweat still onto the bathroom floor. Like, it's <laughs> it's beating off my forehead as I'm looking down and it's going, like, drip, drip, drip. And, like, I specifically remember, like, I'm like, Chris, like, I, I think I need some water or something like that because, like, I'm really sweating. And he's like, not not like questioning, but he's like, what like what do you mean? Like trying to get a grasp on like what I need. And I wipe my ha- my fucking forehead and put my hand under the stall. And he's like, oh no, okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> and so then like he's gone for you know a minute or so to hit the concession stand. And then the fucker comes back <laughs> with fucking sparkling water because it's the best water. Is I the only thing I could I could I could get from him. Well, it is good water. It's disgusting water. And also, like, I just need... I need pure hydration. I don't need carbonation into my body. <laughs> I mean, again, I, I can't be mad because, like, he took care of me uh, and then... To be fair, like, um, when you're sick, like, when your stomach is sick, people are like, you should just drink ginger ale. But is that the ginger or the ale? Hmm. Right? Like, isn't it the yeah. ginger is the part that's, the like... <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure so- someone's just like, man, fucking, here, have a club soda. You're going to feel great. <laughs> Your stomach's upset? Let's fucking bring that shit up to an 11 with, with bubblies. <laughs> you want some acid reflux with that sickness? You got it, bud. Either way, I, I did. Either way, you survived. I survived it. Here. And uh, I came back for, <laughs> I don't remember what song I came back. I left during Gus the Theatrical Cat, and I came uh, back to. You just missed. Um, you just missed Scrimble. You guys just missed Scrimble Shanks. Okay, so. Scrimble Shanks, yeah. yeah. Um, we had to watch back because Chris missed it too, and then he was like, "I want to see that." <laughs> yeah, I've just I've just never seen that part yeah. of the movie. I it's, I decided now nah, I'm good. <laughs> now it's literally the only part of the movie for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that my uh, physical breakdown made that so much better well, for you. Well, I obviously can't find you in the men's bathroom. Oh, not with that so attitude. Got it. Chris. Using you'd be able to find me very easily. I was on the fucking floor in the middle of it. It's very easy to find, very locatable. I guess I've been kicked out of theaters for worse things. <laughs> it's a story for another time. Okay. The statute of limitations still not up on that yet or probably not. 
We just ate a bunch of tofu and celery to heal, by the way. That way we might be able to lose some weight during this goddamn fight. <laughs> so we might lose some damn weight if yeah. we eat tofu. Well, yeah. Well, it's to- it's like tofu, <laughs> celery, and carrots are the shit you want to eat in this game to like be Aww. be pure and, and good. You can eat as much mutton shit as you want, but you'll become a fat fucking slob like we already are. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, guys. Um, if you want to be good in life and pure, you got to be a vegetarian. Yeah. Or, or even better, a vegan. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like a ninth level Actually, vegan. Actually, I'm, su- I'm surprised that this person eats tofu and they still lose weight. To- yeah, tofu is pretty like... <laughs> cool. I saw a great recipe for like uh, tofu skewers I want to try. I don't like tofu, but like I saw this recipe and I was like, I kind of want to... Oh, it's like have- It's like a peanut saute sauce or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, we have some good recipes for that. Yeah. Share them with you. Because anyway. like, like jokes aside, outside the game... I'm getting a little fat. <laughs> like I, I want to, <laughs> <laughs> so I am trying to eat healthier in my life. Hint, hint. Tofu not gonna make you thinner. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But like, is it like like you if, can't just eat celery and tofu? Well, you just need to get better. <laughs> but Fable says I can. <laughs> Man, it's fucking not fair. But like, would it be better for me to replace that than like like if I replace like red meats with tofu? Would that not do anything for me or no? Um, all it. All that matters really is volume. So like okay, calorie volume. Yeah. And I have no. Por- I have at, no the, I- at the end of the day. And I have no portion control. <laughs> so. It doesn't really matter what you eat. It matters how calorie much. Volume. Yeah. How and much and how much you output. I guess yeah. yeah. So I mean, there's like denser foods. So like pasta has a high calorie volume. Right. Sugary things have a high calorie volume. Um, wow! What a boss fight. Wow. I'm taking my fat rage out on him. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> he didn't think we were fat. Wow. We we're pretty. He's just being a nice guy. Yeah, right. The moment we were the moment we say no, he's gonna be like, You fat whore. That's because we beat him to shit. Yeah. <laughs> he has to say it now. Okay, kill Ripper or spare him? Um, I would say spare. I don't know. It's probably the bad thing to do, but I don't know. I mean, I want to see the outcome. He might get like arrested and put to to justice or whatever. Oh my God, that voice! <gasps> oh, we gave this guy his fantasy. Is that Ralph? <laughs> no, I think I know this guy. Is that Ralph Ineson? Hold on. Look this up. I might know this voice actor. Giles, not Buffy. No. Is that the last thing you look up? No, just it was autocorrecting. Like, do we have a voice actor? Oh, cool. Uh, no, it's not Richard Writings. Oh, he's the vo- <laughs> he's the voice of Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig. Hey, that Peppa. Have you watched that? I have a niece. Of course, I've watched it. Okay. Yay! Sorry for your loss. Are you kidding me? How else would I know about Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig and <sighs> the brother? <laughs> His name I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, I think we have time to start the Crucible, because we, we got a little delayed on the episode, because we're at 23 minutes, but we also did about four minutes of useless recording. Let's get us to the Crucible! Let's Crucible! No. <laughs> crucible. Oh, how much money do we have? Not very much. 12,000. But we might be able to buy a new sword, because this guy had some, some cool swords. Move. <laughs> out of my way! Out of my way! I'm, j- I'm not going yet. Alright, oh. fine. All right, fine. Let's do this. Whatever. We'll use our sword we have. Yeah. Well, we look like Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Who we've all established I could beat in a fight. <laughs> well, what was that thing? With, like Chris was saying, this guy, that internet guy with May- Mayweather... Oh, Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather. Shit. That internet guy, Logan I Paul. I don't know. Yeah. 
No, you know what? You are better off not knowing. Like I'm you're glad actually I don't to, know. to yeah, it's to your benefit you don't know. Yeah, exactly. Except for that suicide forest thing. No, that was his brother, Jake Paul. Okay. I don't or cousin know. or okay. No, then Jake Paul was one of, the one that fought and the one that did the suicide forest is not the same one. Yeah. They're different ones. Nope. Yes, they are, Chris. Hi, Chris. Chris, look up Paul Suicide Forest <laughs> and see which name comes up. Loca- That's so Logan, horrific and bad. Jake Paul is the is the one with the less poofy hair, and Logan Paul is the one with the poofster hair. And the poofster hair went to the Suicide Forest, found the body. Jake Paul is the one that wants to fight the world and get the shit beat out of him. I think. No, both Logan. They're... Logan did the Suicide Forest and did the boxing. He did both. Jake Intriguing. What did Jake do? What was Jake's big? Uh, no, does, don't like, get into this Frank right now. Type videos and also a Weird, man. Weird. Do they box each other? Like, oh my god, has there been other? a has there been a Paul off? <laughs> have the Pauls have there? Oh, uh, the uh, appalling I, fight. I want this. Yeah. Pay per view. Paul per view. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'll take the money now, Pauls. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, we could bet on which Paul we like more. Yeah, none. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what can we What can we buy? Oh, uh, we can get a flintlock pistol. We can get a flintlock pistol. No. How about a repeater? Or no, mm-hmm. an oak repeater crossbow. That would be better. I feel like they're selling you this because there's going to be something that needs this. But we're so look how close we're to buying like the master cutlass, or like, okay, oh hold so, on, can we sell stuff? So, um, going into this fight, yes, I think we need something that's going to cut people down, which is wise. Yeah, um, but we might need something that shoots multiples because it's going to be <sighs> so like a clockwork pistol would probably be better. Something, yeah. So either the crossbow or the pistol. I'm selling some of our clothing that we're not ever using to... Yeah. Uh, Screw that shit that's not black. Yeah. Like the chicken feet. <laughs> Ranger cloak. Chicken suit. Mm, let's keep that. Mm, yeah. Out of, out of respect. Chief. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got about 15,000 from selling clothes. I don't think we can sell the sword either, can we? No, I don't think we should. It's just too cool. Um, we, we should probably hold on to those. Well, <laughs> those are the res- resurrection files. <laughs> okay, I think we need no, them. Yeah, no. Um, okay, so if we scroll down, okay, so it looks like they don't sell repeating pistols, but we can get a master flintlock pistol. It does eighty-seven damage, and look at that—it's a pretty slick-looking gun. Yeah, it's nice. We could probably sell it later. Yeah, okay. Don't need it. Boom. I just think we should equip ourselves with more weapons to go into this. Yeah, you're right. All right. Sell the We're old so crossbow. thick I don't trust us. Alright, well we've got we've got our steel cutlass and then a dope pistol. That's like bam. That's pretty fast. How much ammo do you get? Infinite infinite. Really? Just unlimited ammo. Okay. Oh, shoot everything that moves. Okay. <laughs> What? Who's yelling? <laughs> um, they're preparing for a fight. So I had the opportunity to be in a room with a dude that was preparing for a fight. And <laughs> wow, what a thing! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you've been in rooms with actors, like the yeah. actors preparing. Uh, this dude was like yelling, kind of like hitting himself. Just oh, like, just getting yeah, like yeah, getting psyched up. Like up. the like the, yeah. Ow! And <laughs> I don't do it. Are you psyched now? Oh, I want to be. Are you like super psyched? For you know what, the next you know, Jamie? Episode? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> okay, come at me. <laughs> so, I just want to throw down. I just want to throw throw hands. Do it. That's my favorite. That's my favorite uh, expression. Is throw hands. You are gonna throw hands at me? Don't fucking okay. throw hands at me, bro. I'm gonna wreck your shit. Yeah. All right. So I guess next episode we're gonna do the crucible. We're gonna do MMA. That's what this is. Blah. With uh, with guns. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? There might be a baby in there to kick, so. Mm. 
All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.